Hey YouTube, welcome back to our series uh, fixing the top uh, interview 150 uh, problem solving on lead code. Um, I guess after the, after 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 this series, I guess you will have strong foundation of how to solve the software interviews. I will not say that you can ace any software um, uh, software technical problem solving interview, but I just I say I, c I could that you will have a strong foundation of it. So let's just have um, this problem called remove element given an integer array nums an integer value remove all uh, occurrence of value and nums in place the order of elements may be changed so we don't care about the order uh, then return the number of elements in nums which are not equals to value so for example we have this ar uh, array and we have value so uh, three two two three so just two two and we just have to uh, and just w we, we just um, deleted threes and we, we return um, the array we don't care about the the, the source of the array or not we don't care about that at all so let's just think about this problem first and delete okay so um let's see that we have an array where is the pin yeah let's say we have array that have one and two and two and w and three and uh, five okay and the value is two that we want to delete so how we can solve this problem to make sure that we 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 we, we, we delete the, these two um these two so there is maybe one I I way that coming to my mind or like it's um um this way physically we should return the counter of twos like for this time this for this here how many how many times actually the two were, were there it's two times so we should return the counter of two show sure. so we could one of the solutions that we could solve that we could just loop okay and first of all we can create a counter variable okay and this counter variable will equal zero, for example. And whenever we look through this array, and whenever we see a value and the element value, it's equals to the value, we increment the counter by one. And we continue to do that until we reach the end, we return the counter, and that's it. It's a pretty easy, pretty straightforward problem. So let's just see how we can go in the code with this one. I would say let counter equals two and I will make a loop or let let i equals zero i uh, less than uh, less than nums dot len and uh, i plus plus and I will say if if um nums if nums right now why i'm going to say that if the value uh so for example not if nums of i um oh sorry 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 uh we are not the counter it will not be the the amount of two the counter will be this the the numbers that doesn't equal to two how many numbers does it equal to two it's the same it's the same solution but that's like we will count different i i just i i, I read the, the problem so, uh, pro, uh, wrong so sorry for that so i was about to say if uh, uh in terms of i equals value just increase the counter and then return the counter and i guess this will cause a problem however we want to push these values into uh into into the um, ah okay so this is the important thing that i ha we need to read the question really well because i was going to a solution that was completely wrong for this example that we want to return five which is the main values and also we want to put all of the values in the beginning and and at the end may be like them that none and um, the values that equals to two so how we can do that let's just say that if nums doesn't of i doesn't equals value 
of this element doesn't equal the value. So what we are going to do is that um, I will I will push oh counter equals zero not two. I will I will make the uh, the the the, the the nums of the counter equals to nums of i. So for for this example, and I will talk. I guess this this could be quite confusing, but I just I will describe it. No, don't don't need to stress yourself about that. So nums of counter will equals nums of i and counter plus plus. Okay, and after that I will return the counter. So let's just take this example and to understand what really happened. And uh, I will say um, counter. What is this? Yeah. And also I will say um, counter. Let ju let's just put the counter here, counter value here. And um, counter is equal to zero here, and now we have nums of high. So, okay. So, first of all, we start looping. Value is equal to three. So, I'm saying that, okay, if nums of i doesn't equal value, nums of i doesn't equal value, we are looping in the, in the, in the three. And value equals three, so no nums of i equals value. Okay, so continue executing. Okay, so right now i will equal one because this is the second loop. So while i equals one, we are here in this loop. I'm saying that okay, if nums doesn't equals value, yeah, nums doesn't equals value. Okay, so nums of counter counter is zero, so this one equals nums of i, so it equals two okay because we, we want to delete it and counter plus plus so counter it's one we add two counters one so we loop again so right now i equals two and so right now we are here so i'm saying that if nums of i doesn't equal value yep uh, i is two to so i here yeah that's right so nums of uh, nums of counter equals nums of i nums of counter counter one equals nums of i it's two and it's two so yeah the the same counter plus plus counter equals two so counter is here okay and um i'm saying that now and i equals uh, uh three ah yeah so we are saying that okay if nums of i doesn't equal value no nums of i equals value okay so that's it so what we have done the counter is two so we return to this is what we are going to return we return the amount of value that that, that doesn't equals to uh, the amount of uh, element that doesn't equals to value so we return to and we just to continue executing until we find our uh, uh, until we finish the loop so right now i return to it let's submit uh, start the study plan join the study plan uh, later later please so yeah that's it and it's a pretty straightforward problem it's a pretty easy problem i guess it's um we will need this problem to fix this one these two problems if we know the remove elements, I guess these two problems would be way more easier for us to solve. So uh, that's it for this video. If you like my solution, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. And see you in future problems.